Hey guys, this is Roll Up 2095. Um, I'm here today showing you guys how to put up um, a typo barrel to your new hop up system. This is a metal hop up system by Bravo. Um, the KWA 2GX bucking and ICF hop up spacer. Um, note that when buying the KWA 2GX hop up bucking, you do not need the H spacer. I actually made a mistake with that and I had to call the SOGI to switch it for a regular ICS hop up spacer because um, as you guys probably know the KWA 2X 2GX top of bucking comes with a built in H spacer so it's actually meant to use with a regular um, spacer so here we go I'll just start off by opening the barrel um, I will make a video of how to put this inside my gun when I get my gun back it's actually in um, Godfather SF right now for repairs um, you guys should check them out they're really good um, I live like 40 minutes away from the walking store so I actually go over there I don't have to use the website so so nub All right here's the barrel as you guys can see this is the front with the hole and uh, line on the bottom right. so there you go with your that and now you're going to want to take your KWA hopper bucking um, I'm going to put a little bit of lube on it take some um, classic army silicone oil just put a little bit in there so it can fit into this barrel with no problem alright to, to put this on you're going to want to you see the little groove right there? I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has a groove there, and you line it up with the groove on the barrel, and you just slide it on. Very simple, self explanatory process. As you guys can see, I did not put it on right. Alright, there we go. So it's on black on black. I don't know if you guys can really see it. And as I push on the, sorry guys, my camera isn't focusing right. Uh, whatever, I'll show you guys later. So that's step one. Step two is get everything out of the way because this does have small parts, and I don't think you guys want to lose these kind of things. So place your barrel. I'm gonna place my barrel back in, and the tube came in with the KDB bucking on it. Alright, now we're going to open the Bravo thing, um, hop up, metal hop up, alright, so slide this out, comes in a nice foam packaging, um, and take the metal hop up unit, actually it's kind of heavy. I guess it's a good thing. Then you have all your parts. All right. Tell you guys the truth. I'm just gonna wing this. I don't really know how to do this properly. I watched a couple of videos, but let's see if I remember. All right. Oh, there goes all the parts. Like I said before, you guys do not want to lose these things. All right. So the longer spring, first thing, it's right here. I'm gonna push down on it so it stays in it. Alright. And guys, I have five minutes of this, so I'm actually gonna cut the video off at like a minute or so and then just continue it from exactly where I left off. Hey on. guys, I'm back. And after failing multiple times at doing this, I decided to go watch Airsoft GI's video on how to put on a hop up unit together. Because this is actually very extreme work and I would not suggest um new people do it alright so first thing remember I told you I put the barrel together and now I'm gonna put the barrel inside the hop up before I even put any gears on or anything alright so you line make sure that little line right here see my finger snuck on it has a line make sure that it goes on the direct bottom of the barrel alright guys and once you that's on the bottom take your c-clip and snap it on 
um, this hop up unit did not come with that um, gold thing which stops the barrel from moving. So I'm just going to have to do it without it. Alright, so the sequel is in, the barrel is in. Alright. The first thing you're going to want to do is put your hop up nub and your spring on the hop up arm. The spring goes on the front part, the, the stubby spring, not the long spring. The stubby spring and the hop up spacer goes inside there. Now what I do is I put my barrel upside down. Well, this is kind of tricky. Alright, here we go. Put your barrel upside down. Um, yeah. As you guys see, the hop up spacer just fell out. So make sure you don't lose that hop up spacer because that's where your hop up is. So, you lose that, you're pretty much screwed. And it's finally in, as you guys can see. The hop up on the top. Alright, once that's in, you're going to want to take your retention spring, clip them in, and put it in. Um, try to line up your arm. There you go. Now that is in. Okay, finally. That was actually pretty stressful. Alright, once that's in, you're going to want to take your gear that looks like this. Alright, and put it inside the hop-up arm, inside the little hole, right there. Alright, so once that's in, you take one of your retention clips, it's like a little washer kind of look, and I'll snap it on there. that thing right there all right you put that in and then you go for your second gear just like just like that and as you guys can see these gears does they do turn all right and once that's in then you take your third and the final big wheel and secure it in place Make sure that all the gears turn. Yes, they do on mine. This gear is actually very stiff and actually hurts my fingers. But then you put the screw in. You tighten it down. I actually tighten down with this a screwdriver later, but as you guys can see, hop up is not on here, and then turn it in. I'm actually gonna put some silicone oil right here because these gears are very very stiff. I'm gonna dab a little bit. make the gears move a little bit more freely yes it did so um yep, as you guys can see that's on the hop up and um, the other retention clips go hold on one goes right on the middle gear, the middle. Um, if I can fit this, that will be swell. And 
and the other one goes on the retention guide. You guys are gonna have to use your fingernails and everything to get this in, but once it's in, it's no problem. And here it is, the assembly of the Bravo hop-up unit with KWA 2GX buck, 2GX bucking, ICF hops, ICS hop-up spacer, and Mad Bull Black Python Barrel version 2 type boy. And this will give you guys extreme accuracy. When I get my gun back, I'll actually show you guys a test of how accurate it is. So, see you guys later. Be sure to comment, rate, subscribe. Have a good one, guys. Bye.